One year ago, Shoyu Nakajima was linked to clubs like PSG and Wolves, but he hasn't scored in the Portuguese league this season, and he's only started five games, and now his contract could get terminated. So what happened to Shoyu Nakajima? Hi everyone, I'm Ghost of Masala, and uh, firstly, can I just say the sub growth has been crazy recently, I'm wondering, can I get to 500 by September? I know it's a bit of an ask, but maybe it can happen. And I actually made a video about Nakajima way back in September 2018, as I thought he would go on to do great things things. In the 2017-18 season he scored 10 goals and got 10 assists for Portimonense in the Portuguese league. So he began to get linked to big teams in terms of transfers, starting off with Wolves and in December 2018 his transfer was apparently 80% completed to Wolves from Portimonense so he would come and play in the Premier League. However, Portimonense, this Portuguese club, they're well known for their, their transfer dealing. So basically what they did was they set an asking price of 40 million euros for Nakajima. Well anyway, no one was going to pay 40 mil for Nakajima, he was a 20 mil player, of course he was very good but he, had, he was playing in the Portuguese league and 40 million was a lot, especially as he was already 24. Well I say no one, I meant no one except a Qatari club called Al De Hail. They're one of the best clubs in the Qatari League as Qatari clubs are starting to challenge more and more in the AFC Champions League. So at the time I thought it was a bit strange, you know, he's gone to a Qatari club, but there are a few reasons why I thought this had happened. So Al De Hail were building a great team featuring, you know, players like Mehdi Benasha. So they have a lot of good players and I thought they were gonna really try and challenge for the AFC Champions League and then try and get into the Club World Cup. Or the second option I thought would happen is that Nakajima would get loaned to PSG and then the same financial group as Al De Hale, uh, and he would get loaned in the summer and this was a way of PSG getting around the financial fair play regulations that were in place. So they'd have Al De Hale by Nakajima and then he'd go on loan to PSG and then get permanently transferred later on. So which option was it? Well, it was actually option three, which I didn't mention. The Portuguese roundabout, as I call this one. So here's what I think happened. So let me know if you know better. But Porto wanted Nakajima, but they couldn't afford to pay the 40 million. You know, Portuguese clubs don't have that much money. They're not a top five league anymore, unfortunately. And also they want to spend other money on players like Luis Diaz. Al De Hale, as I mentioned before, they I think they have a partnership with Portimonense. As you can see here, Al De Hale have loaned a couple of players to Portimonense recently, which of course shows that they're probably in some sort of partnership. And so Al De Hale wanted to help Portimonense out while also getting some benefit for themselves. Here's what would happen. Porto want Nakajima, they can't afford it. So Al De Hale were going to pay the 40 million to Portimonense to get Nakajima. Okay, so Portimonense have got their money, so they're happy. But Porto still want Nakajima. So Porto then paid only 12 million to Alder Hale, but Alder Hale would keep 50% of Nakajima's player rights. If Porto wanted to sell Nakajima, Alder Hale would get half of the money for that transfer. So that meant, you know, that's a really sneaky way of making everyone happy. But it's important to remember that even a short break away from top level football can have a big effect on a player, which is why, you know, South Korean players try so hard to not do the military service so they can keep playing at a high level. So Nakajima went to Porto. So at the start Nakajima's success was prevented already by one man, Luis Diaz. He had signed for 7 million euros and he wasn't expected to be preferred over Nakajima. He was only 22 after all. But a strong start meant he was preferred and continued to be preferred throughout the whole season. And adding promising talents like Romario Barro, Jesus Corona, Zé Luis, uh, international breaks which Nakajima had to go on every time. He also got injured a couple of times and you know all round poor performances from Nakajima basically every time he played it was a complete recipe for disaster and Nakajima just kept getting worse and worse and things have gotten even worse for Nakajima after this extended break so Nakajima has been exiled from the team due to missing training due to as he says family reasons and you know this is pretty bad on Porto's part if this is true because that seems really unfair you know if Nakajima had to spend time away from the team for family reasons why would you exile him from the team ban him and not put him in the squad it seems really really bad to me and his contract could even be terminated which is big but it could be a blessing in disguise for Nakajima as you know things clearly aren't going well for him at Porto so where should he go because it seems clear that he's probably going to leave at this point so where should he go right so we've got a few options here um, so firstly he could go back to Portimonense but 
you know, something seems off about the transfer. It doesn't seem like it was a good situation. Any of it was a good situation for Nakajima. So maybe going back to Paul Timonenti wouldn't be good. Also, Paul Timonenti aren't a rich club, so would they be able to sort of pay Nak uh, Nakajima the wages he would want? But here's the big thing. If his contract gets terminated, he's going to be a free agent. And this is massive in the current situation. No one's got money to spend apart from, like, Man City or, or teams like that. So, you know, teams like Spurs, Barcelona... They have nothing, they have no money to spend in the winter. So this is a big, big chance for Nakajima to go to a big club, potentially. Whether he'll get game time, I don't know. But this could be his, like his one chance to really go for it. Go to a big club and then get starts if he's good enough. Uh, you know, he could fight for getting players. Especially if big clubs have to sell players. They might be looking to get someone like Nakajima for cheap. And, I mean, he could go anywhere, really. Especially if, if Spurs need players, you know, Nakajima could be great. It'd be really cool to see him in England sort of playing against uh, English teams, uh, I think that would be really cool to see. He could go basically anywhere. Thanks for watching everyone, hopefully you enjoyed and where do you think Nakajima will go? Do you think he'll go to England or another team in Portugal or back to Japan or where? He could go literally anywhere, I don't know, I don't think he'll stay at Porto but yeah make sure to comment what you think will happen to him in the comment section. And yeah, um, hopefully you enjoyed, target of 500 by September so if you could subscribe that would be great and yeah. Um, Lots of content coming up, so if you have any suggestions, that would be really helpful because I'm running out of ideas. No, I'm not, but I'd like to, if you give me a suggestion, I'll do my own take on it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.